Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is the day after I recorded my last vlog. So it is Thursday, July 11th. Hey, 7-Eleven. Does 7-Eleven still do that free Slurpee incentive? I'm not gonna find out because I don't have time. I'm headed to a full day PD today, but I also have some exciting news to share because I officially have a date for when I can get into my classroom. We're gonna chat about that, but first let's talk about today. So I mentioned I'm heading to a full day of PD. This is day one of TAG training. So TAG stands for Talented and Gifted. I have to complete 30 hours of training, technically by the end of the year, but I went ahead and enrolled in the five full days that are offered in the summer before the school starts. That way I can knock them out. I know my future self will thank me for doing that. Cordially, future Dwight. So today it is from 8.30 to four, actually all of the days, it's 8.30 to four because there is a lunch break. So I get six hours toward my 30 hours today. I go again next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I go the week after on Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know, whatever day the 24th is. <laughs> we'll come back to that. But thankfully the place I have to go isn't too far from where I live, which means I plan to come back home during my lunch break so I can let Ember out. But not a lot exciting right now to share, but as I mentioned, I do have news. We're gonna get there. Oh, my shirt. Not that that's exciting. I just raised the expectations way too high there, so let's bring them back down. But in my last vlog where we did a little classroom budgeting, I mentioned needing to get some new clothes and I had already purchased two shirts. This is the shirt that I got. So this is from Amazon and I absolutely love it. Now, of course, this one is black and white because hi, I'm Michelle, black is my favorite color. But I also got it in green because that is one of our school colors. It's currently like the only green thing in my closet, but it's just super comfy. It's stretchy. It's a little bit on the longer side, so I was able to tuck it in. I'll link it if you're looking for a comfy shirt that is comfy like a t-shirt, but because it has like the ribbing and the little white detail, I feel like it looks a little bit fancier. I could be lying to myself. Probably am. <laughs> I'm back home for my lunch break. It's around 11.15. Because we only have about an hour and it took 15 minutes to come home, I don't have very long, but I wanna be able to take Ember outside, give her some physical stimulation, make my lunch. I think I'm going to bring it with me and eat it when I get to the PD. A, it'll give me something to do, but B, it will save me time. I did pull out the stuff that I need this morning to also save time, but here is that shirt. Okay, I'm shorter than I thought I was, but <laughs> the shirt in like the full view, and I mentioned that I also had it in green, which is not usually a color I wear, but I actually really like this color green, kind of like an emeraldy green color. So I will link those. PD is going well. I am charging my laptop and I'm trying to utilize as many little pockets of time just like I did in my last vlog. I talked about how I got to the PD early, so I did my Babbel lessons, which are my daily learning lessons in my car before heading in. I did the same thing today. And then while I've had little pockets of downtime during the training, I am trying to be proactive, do some things on my computer, so one thing I did is set up a Google Calendar for the scope and sequence, and I mapped out the math and science units for the entire year so that obviously I can go in and adjust them. I also need to put them in my digital planner, but it at least gives me a starting point of like, here's what the district has for the scope and sequence. Speaking of digital planning, I shared my digital planner with my work account now that I have my official like teacher email, but then I made a copy of it from my teacher account so that that account is the owner of it. I could have just transferred ownership, but I figured it was easier just to make a copy. That being said, <laughs> let me go through a ball with Ember and then I'll show you a few things on the computer. Good catch. Is 
So athletic. So talented. Professional resume. Athletic and special skills resume. Ember, I think you would be a tag student. <laughs> So this is what that scope and sequence calendar looks like on Google Calendar. I've turned off all my other calendars, so it's only showing the scope and sequence, but you will notice I have just events that I've created for each unit. So I have math and I have science. Now, even though this is the default color for the calendar, I could individually color them. So for example, if I wanted to make math purple, and then I wanted to make science like green, I can go in and recolor those, or I could recolor them by unit. So you'll notice if I go on to the next month, they are all yellow because I can individually color them. The other thing that I did is started to set up workspaces. So if you have a Google for EDU account through your district, you will have probably noticed the workspaces section over on the left. This is just another way to organize files for easy access. So for example, I might have a bunch of files in different folders, but need access to them at different times. So for example, teaching, this is usually where I put all of my files that I use for the current unit I'm on. So if I have slides for like unit three for math, and that's what I'm currently teaching, I add those files here to the workspace, which if you click view workspace, you can then add files or within your drive, if you right click on a file, you'll see the option to add it to your workspace. If you hover over organize and then you'll see add to workspace. You also can hide workspaces. So right now I hid the curriculum one, but that's where I have like district level curriculum documents. And then I created a workspace for back to school, I wouldn't need this all the time. So once back to school is done and I'm no longer using those files, I'm gonna remove the workspace. The files will still be housed in my drive, but this is just a quick and easy way to like create access to them all in one spot and kind of group them together almost in like a temporary folder if you think about it that way. And obviously you may notice I'm holding the camera weird ways. That's to prevent certain things from being shown. So the camera is ever at a weird angle. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing, although that sometimes is true. It's more so just that I am attempting to conceal information. Oh, Ember's tuckered out. I only did a couple of ball throws, but this Texas heat, y'all, is something else. My battery is about to die, but I need to make my lunch, which I mentioned, I'm just gonna bring it with me. So this morning, I went ahead and cut my little thermos. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in elementary school. I put some frozen strawberries inside, which I just buy these in a big bag from HEB. I was not kidding when I said big bag. Is it five pounds? Yeah, five pounds. And I use them in a lot of different things, but one thing I love to add frozen fruit to is oatmeal. Now, I could have done this as overnight oats. So overnight oats is when you put the oats in a liquid, put them in the fridge overnight, they absorb the liquid and soften up, and then you eat them cold. However, I actually like hot oatmeal or even oatmeal that then has gotten to room temperature. It's fine either way. So lunch, I know this isn't really a lunch food, it's more of a breakfast food, but it's something easy. I'm just doing oats and then I mix in protein powder. So I'm doing my pea science strawberry cheesecake flavor. I thought that that would pair nicely with the strawberries. So I'm just gonna cook up the oats, mix it together with the protein powder, add it on top of the strawberries. So the heat will help to kind of melt the frozen strawberries. And then we're gonna head back to the PD and I will check in with you after. Okay, the fact that I am somehow accomplishing this without spilling is a miracle. <laughs> Oh, Ember, did you hear me say the word spilling and you assumed you were gonna get something? <laughs> because yes, I usually drop most of my food on the floor, but not today, pooch. Sorry to disappoint. In my head, I'm just singing that song that goes, feeling hot, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. Because my car is 105 degrees, but we got done a little bit early, which is always nice. So now I need to head to the gym and 
I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs how once the school year starts, I'm gonna try to find a more local gym so I don't have to commute from my district all the way to my gym and spend like an hour in the car commuting both ways. That's just not practical, but I haven't gotten there yet. So today we're making the long commute. It'll be fine. I brought myself a little snacky. I've got some chocolate rice cakes. And then also because I was running out of time as I was leaving my house, I just grabbed a blender bottle. And then when I order my protein, y'all don't care about this, but I told you I'm gonna mix and match school stuff with personal stuff. So anyone who does care about the fitness side of my life, here you go. When I order protein from P Science, they usually send little sample packs and I hold on to them. So I just grabbed sample packs of pre-workout that I can throw in there. I'm gonna use my water bottle, fill it up. And then by the time I get home from the gym, it's usually seven o'clock-ish because my workouts tend to take anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on the session, plus, you know, the commute time. And at that point, I shower, eat dinner, maybe do a little more computer work and get in bed. So that's gonna be it for today, but I'm gonna continue the vlog tomorrow. This is gonna be a two-dayer. <laughs> and we're gonna chat about classroom because I mentioned that I have a date to get into it. And then I also received other information today in a text from the administrative assistant for our school regarding my classroom. But we'll chat about that tomorrow. I'm gonna go power lift, you know, pick up heavy things, put them down. <laughs> I think I am nine weeks out from nationals. So it's gonna be a hectic time with training and teaching and figuring out the new schedule with this new season of life. But everything is figure outable. And one of the little phrases I keep repeating to myself lately is, don't think, just execute, because I am a classic overthinker. <laughs> and so I'm trying to remind myself not to think too much on things and just, just do it, just figure it out. And that's what we're gonna do. So heading to the gym, we'll chat tomorrow. Happy Friday. <laughs> you know, when I did my going back to the classroom Q&A video, which if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. One of the questions I got asked was, what are you giving up in order to make this transition back into the classroom? And my Friday cleaning routine is one thing I'm giving up. If you have been following for a while, then you probably know typically on Fridays, I spend a majority of the day doing like a full house clean. However, I'm obviously not gonna be able to do that once the school year starts. And even now I've just gotten so busy that I don't really have the capacity to spend that much time cleaning my house. So, hi, my name is Michelle and my house is gonna be a mess from probably this point forward. <laughs> but last night I did spend a little bit of time kind of cleaning around the kitchen, refilling the coffee, restocking stuff in the pantry. I tried to get some of the things out of the way that I would typically do on Friday. I also got up this morning, went ahead and put in laundry and I'm now prepping dinner. I am just making a basic chicken stir fry with whatever veggies are left in the fridge from the week. So we've got zucchini, we've got mushrooms, carrots. We've got some onion in here that's already cut up, which is nice. And then I think I've got some frozen veggies. Yeah, this will be perfect. I've got a half open bag of sugar snap peas. So I'm literally just throwing those all into a skillet and calling it a stir fry. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get the veggies cut up and prepped so that it's one less thing I have to do later. And while I do this, I thought that we could chat a little bit. So today is kind of busy. I've got to finish filming this vlog, but then I also have the final meeting of my summer book club, which I have loved by the way. If you didn't join in this summer, it's totally fine. You can join in next summer. Again, I plan to do it every summer until no one signs up anymore. <laughs> but it's basically just a way for us to chat about my book, First Class Teaching. If you are a new teacher, I highly suggest you grab it and it's free to join. So next summer, you can join into that. But I also have to record a video for Fig Jam, which is a free digital whiteboard. I've talked about them before, and 
I am doing a video partnership with them. So the video goes up at the end of July and I need to get that recorded today so that I can edit it over the weekend. I should not be waving this <laughs> knife around. I mentioned classroom stuff. So first of all, on Monday when I went to HR, I was able to get access into my emails and we got an email from like the district that we were like the board approved, someone approved for us to have these two extra, almost like mental health days throughout the year. Now they're scheduled for a specific date, so it's not like you take them whenever, but that was really good news. So one is in October and one is in February. So yesterday I did add those onto my digital calendar as well as my Google calendar. But what is far more relevant to you is classroom stuff. So. I mentioned that I got a text yesterday from my administrative assistant. So my classroom has changed. Now, that being said, it's not really that big of a change. It's just a different room in the same area, but she said it's the same size, it's the same layout. So I technically am now back to not having seen my classroom, <laughs> but it should look exactly the same as the one that I currently have. But that way I will be across the hall from my switch teacher. So the teacher that I will be partnered with that teaches social studies and ELA will be across the hall, which makes it easier to swap kits. Let me get a wet paper towel for these mushrooms. But I also got a date for when I can get into my classroom to start setting up. And so drum roll, I'm building way too much suspense. I can get into my classroom on July 24th. Now, Billy and I get home on July 23rd from his birthday trip. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. And then the 24th, I am in all day tag training again, my last day of tag training. But I'm hoping I can stop by like after the tag training, like in the afternoon, and at least be able to like see my room, maybe get some more measurements, drop off maybe a couple of things, but I probably won't start the actual setup process until the 25th. I'm hoping to maybe do like an empty classroom tour if I am able to vlog again. I'm still waiting on clarification for that, meaning I haven't asked yet. <laughs> but if I can, I will do like an empty classroom tour and then obviously I will record the setup as much as I can. But for now, I'm gonna finish prepping for dinner and then I've got some other stuff to show you, classroom related too. We've had some more Christmas in July. Listen, y'all, just let me be excited, okay? I haven't set up a classroom in a couple of years and I'm just, I'm thoroughly enjoying the process. So I did receive some more of the Sprout Bright posters for both math and science. Thank you so much, Amanda and Allie. I cannot wait to display them. They're just so bright and colorful and useful and I am excited. <laughs> and then I got this little nifty gifty that came gift wrapped, which it told me to open it before opening the envelope. So we're gonna get that unwrapped. Speaking of unwrapped, did anyone else watch that show unwrapped? I can't remember if it was on Food Network or Discovery or something, but they would show behind the scenes of different like food products and how they were made. And I was obsessed with it. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, they really make you work for it, don't they? It's funny, I love giving gifts, but I hate opening gifts. <laughs> I hate the surprise. Yay, dry erase boards. Okay, so these are the same ones that I already received a 24 pack of, and I knew I wanted more than 24, so I had a 24 pack and a 12 pack on my wish list because I don't know exactly how many students I will have, but also I knew I needed some for like my small group table. And I absolutely love these. So they're from Board Geek and they are double sided. So you don't have to worry about kids scribbling on the backside and it gives them more space. Yay, thank you so much. Okay, now I need to find, all right, there's a tag on here. Enjoy your gift. Good luck with your new job from Kelly. Kelly, thank you so, so much. Again, thank you to everyone who has just been supportive in this journey. It doesn't have to be something like, you know, sending me something from my Amazon wish list. Honestly, just watching my videos, leaving a nice comment has been the best. And I already just feel so much more in the teaching community and it 
feels good. It makes my teacher heart very happy. <laughs> now on to a Billy birthday update. <laughs> if you missed it in my previous vlog, Billy is turning 30 on July 21st. So I think this video might go up around that time. Wish him a happy birthday. For his 30th birthday, I asked if he wanted a party or a trip. He chose a trip. So I am surprising him and y'all are gonna have to wait too. I'm not spoiling it. I am not risking the surprise getting ruined, but I am taking him on a surprise trip and I made it like 30 for 30 theme. So instead of ESPN, it says Emerson birthday celebrations. He will be opening 30 envelopes along the way to find out about each different task or activity that we are doing. And this is one of those things that my future self is so grateful for because I got these done ahead of time. And thank goodness, because this week has been crazy and I feel good that it's off of my plate. But you may remember when I prepped these envelopes, I had to create multiple for 26 and 27 because there was an activity that I was not sure if it was gonna pan out. I was kind of waiting on something to come through and I'm very excited that my A plan came through. So I was able to take out the B versions of the envelopes. Those will not be needed. And then I wanted to show you how I am revealing it to him. So he's going to start by opening his card. I got this on Amazon. I just thought it was adorable. Obviously he was born in 1994 and then it just has different like facts and stats about that year and then I just wrote him a little message and I told him that there will be envelopes along the way, but in order to figure out his first one, he has to open up his gift. So there is a shirt in here. I can't show it to you because it will spoil it, but it's related to him entering his 30s, but it also alludes to where we are going. So once he opens up the shirt and figures out where we are going, he will get the first envelope, which tells him the location. <laughs> I almost said it, but I stopped myself. So I feel really good that this is all done. The last thing I need to get done today is just printing off physical copies of some of the tickets and things for the events. I have digital copies, but I always think it's good to have a backup. So on my agenda for the rest of the day, I need to record the Fig Jam video, which is gonna be all about how to start using Fig Jam with your students. So stay tuned for that one. Once I get that recorded, I need to go ahead and start editing it because the editing is gonna take a bit. I have my final book club meeting at noon and I need to do a little bit of prep for that. Once the meeting ends, I need to share out the recording. I need to post about the final giveaway that I do, which let me show you that. So I have this drawer where I have my book and then my binder that I use for the book club. But then I also have all of these little fun things. So these are confetti poppers and I have stickers and magnets and keychains and I have pencils that say first class teacher. And then I have like postcards and then I have the signed plates for them to add in and more confetti and mailing stuff. So at the end of each book club, I do a giveaway. So three people get a copy of the audiobook because my book is also available as an audiobook and an Amazon gift card. And then the big winner gets a prize pack with a signed physical copy of the book, an audiobook, and then some of these little nifty gifties. So I need to get that ready to go because the giveaway ends just before Billy and I go on the trip and I want to be able to mail it off as soon as we get back. And then I will finish doing the laundry. I need to run to Costco. We're running low on dog food, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, <laughs> all the stuff we stock up on at Costco. I have some other businessy things for Pocketful Primary that I need to get done. So it's gonna be a busy day, but I'm hoping that I can get it done so that Billy and I can enjoy our pints and pictures tonight. I made us a cookie dough-ish <laughs> base for the Ninja Creamy. And then we're gonna add in some like, I got those Ben and Jerry's like cookie dough mix-in pieces. We're gonna do that as a mix-in. And we're gonna watch a movie and it's my pick tonight. I think I'm leaning toward When Harry Met Sally. Yeah, I think that's what I wanna watch. And then this weekend, I need to get back to reading because I have definitely fallen off of that this past week. I have not read like at all. I have been doing my language lessons, but I have not been reading. So I think, the next book I'm gonna read is Better Than Carrots or Sticks, which ironically, 
The episode of Better Call Saul we watched last night was called Carrot and Stick. We are on season six, almost done. But I'm gonna end this vlog because I feel like you've gotten plenty and I need to get stuff done, head into the weekend, enjoy, and we'll touch base again next week. I'm doing a meet and greet at my principal's house. I've got more tag trainings. I'll take you along with me, but if you enjoyed this video and you're excited that we're under two weeks away from me getting into my classroom, even closer by the time you're watching this, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. Again, they're dropping randomly. Check out the Falling in Love with Teaching, again, playlist to stay up to date. Make sure you didn't miss any videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.